What's up? So I had a question about our uh, heat exchanger. Um, so I thought I'd just build a video of some uh, how we've done it, and uh, maybe you could um, take some ideas and help you to build your own. So I'll go over it from start to finish of how it works and everything. So I took everything out so you can see it all. So the intake from the the water from the pump gets pumped through this this line here into the boat. Then it comes up here, I don't know if you can see it, but it makes its way around to the back of the sand trap. So these are sand traps that we built. Um, that's a solid piece, it's been hollowed out and then built a cone and then welded this on, welded that to the cone. I don't know if you can see under there. There it comes out of the hole and then fills into this chamber. And that's where the sand collects. And then we've got a quick dump ball valve there so we can dump the sand when we're going. Goes into a finer screen filter and into the distribution, water distribution box. So to the manif the heat exchanger comes off here. So our feed, water feed, comes around and joins into this copper manifold. So the way that this works is you've got the engine coolant. So you've got this one here off the back of the water pump. And then the one that comes off the block into the header tank back down. So that's the engine coolant. So the engine coolant runs around the outside of this copper pipe. I think that's... 25 mil or something copper pipe. Oh no, it's 40 mil. 40 mil copper pipe. And then, so the engine coolant's inside here, runs all around here. And the cold water from the river goes through the smaller tube. So that tube there runs inside this larger tube and then comes out the back, joins up again, and comes back through and then comes out. So you've got cold water getting pumped through and then this water comes out here and takes the heat out of the engine coolant. So we're using closed cooling system. So instead of having river water run through the engine block, blocking up all the galleries, or silt if it gets through, um, we can have glycol and everything in the, in the boat through the header tank. So apparently the formula for this is for every 100 horsepower you need a meter of copper pipe. So we've got oh, about two and a half meters so that's good for about 250 horsepower. It's approved heat exchanger concept. It's um, been around for a long time and, and jet boat shops sell these types but we made our own. So all you need, if you're going to do it, is get some, I think that's 20 mil on the inside. So you need slightly more 20 mil inside pipe than the outside. And then we just drill, drill through the elbow, chuck that down the middle, drill through the elbow down the other end, bring a smaller tube through both ends, and then we just weld it on a threaded nipple on each end. That allows you to screw your fittings in. The only reason we've got the stainless tube is because it just brings all the pipe work from the engine where we can join it up nicely. Because you could probably weld some bigger threads on there and put, or just put a hose tail and um, put some big tube up to here. But I just like to make everything look nice, so we used a bit of stainless tube. Then, after the uh, river water inlets come in there and it's gone through your heat exchanger, then it comes out this, this tube comes up and out up here well it goes into a ball valve so you can slow the flow through the exchanger because if it goes too fast it's not efficient to take away the heat and then it comes out the side of the boat as a telltale because if that stops you want to stop your boat as soon as you can because it will overheat because it's obviously not cooling very well so yeah if you are happy with that let me know if you've got any more questions. Um, let me know as well. Always happy to help.
people uh, with their projects. But yeah, it's pretty simple, really easy to make if you're good with a bit of easy flow on the old uh, copper there. It's not too bad. And it's relatively cheap, DIY. Do it yourself. Don't pay someone, do it yourself. Give it a go. My old man always told me, he says, uh, we didn't say it, he just said, give it a crack. You know, if you don't give it a crack, you never know. If you give it a crack, you might be good at it. You know, you don't have to pay for your, I don't think I've ever paid anyone to fix anything of mine. Um, just give it a go. What's the worst that's going to happen? Just take photos before you start, and then you'll know how things go back together. So, yeah. I suppose that's why we've done everything ourselves and, and uh, built all these parts ourselves. Um, yeah. So that's cooling system. If uh, you've got any more questions, let me know.